Hello friends. Today I will discuss how to create VPC, front-end server, back-end server, public subnet, private subnet and how they connect with each other and all these things and all these servers resources I will create through Terraform. So first uh, I will discuss how to create that and then I will go with the hands-on part. Okay. So you can see the diagram I have made this diagram. So you can see that the Terraform server is installed in a server. I mean in a VPC. Okay. So it will be the default VPC. From Terraform server, I will. Uh, okay. So first of all, let's discuss why Terraform and what is Terraform. So if you search Terraform, so you can see the Terraform is a infrastructure as a code service. You can see that Terraform is a infrastructure as a code software tool created by HashiCorp. So by, by Terraform, you can create, uh, create and destroy your infrastructure resources in any cloud provider. Basically, you can create uh, instance, VPC, um, AWS EKS, or you, even you can uh, deploy your infrastructure or your resources on um, Azure. So that is also possible. So infrastructure as a code means you can deploy without manual intervention. So if you want to deploy a uh, application not application uh, resources on top of aws you have to go instances and you have to use uh, this this aws console this aws console to create that but if you want to uh, if if let's say you have a task of creating 100 resources in less time how will, you, how will you do that? You will create one resources at a time. No, no. So you will create a script file. You will create, create a script file uh, with Terraform and just run that. So as soon as you run the Terraform file, all the 100 servers are deployed on your AWS account. So I hope you understand why Terraform is used and widely used uh, in IT world and DevOps world. So let's get started with a uh, hands-on part. And before that, before the hands-on, I will uh, make you understand how I will do that. I mean, do this project. So I will first launch a EC2 instance. Okay. I will first launch a EC2 instance and in this EC2 instance, I will install Terraform server. And by that Terraform server, I will deploy another VPC and in that VPC, I will create a public subnet, a private subnet and I will connect these two public subnet or private subnet. I will connect uh, these two private, uh, private and uh, public connection. So you can see that the private subnet cannot connect to the internet. So that that's why we get, we need NAT gateway, right? So I will deploy that also. So uh, then connect the NAT gateway with application server, or you can see. It will be a backend server. Let's not do that application server. It's a backend server. Backend server. This is front end server. And this is also used to as a bastion server because 
uh, generally we cannot uh, get entry to the backend server by public instance i mean public ip address because uh, in private subnet we cannot have any internet access so by nat gateway we can uh, get internet access but uh, a, a user cannot uh, get entry to the backend server but from the front end server with using private ip you can uh, get entry to the backend server right so because of that because of that we need a bastion server so best by bastion connect we can connect that server we can connect uh, private subnet servers right and after that i will install apache 2 on backend server after that uh, what i what i said uh, in in backend server i will install apache 2 and by naturally we cannot um, see the content of the apache 2 but by nginx reverse proxy we can connect and we can get the content from backend server private ip address okay by pri private ip actually uh, nginx route the traffic so i will do that also and let's get started so first i will create an instance so it will be data instance data form okay maybe this will help you a little bit you can see that and k2 micro will be fine for that so in the key pair i will take the previous created key um, i have already a existing security group so i will take that and yes that is fine let's create it Now, I have created the Terraform server. Let's connect this server with Mobex term. Okay. So, previously I have created these servers. So, let me delete these servers and I will create a fresh one. It is remote host. So, uh, in remote host i will give the ip address username will be ubuntu and in advanced ssh i have to give the private key so private key is ohio.2 ohio pen. okay and then okay and we are connected to the terraform server first command of a new linux machine will be sudo apt update so i will update the terraform server meanwhile let's install terraform terraform install ubuntu and here is the installation commands and it, it is a manual installation but i will go with linux installation just copy these and just paste this paste one by one okay after this i have to take this it will just install the jpg key gpg key and uh, okay it it is a fingerprint of gpg key it is official re, re, hasicop repository official repository which we should have okay this is the key 
and after that I will update the repository and then install the Terraform. Okay. So now I have installed the Terraform. Okay. Uh, so I have installed the Terraform. Can I now uh, create the VPC? No. Why no? Because I have to authenticate AWS with this instance. Right. So for that, there are there are some ways to interact with AWS. So uh, I mean A AWS console. One is AWS CLI. So for that, AWS CLI should be installed on your machine. So AWS CLI install Ubuntu. I will search that and I will get a command to install um, AWS CLI. Here you can see it just uh, go to this repository. I mean, uh, go to this this site and download the zip com, zip file. AWS live uh, okay. AWS CLI version two zip. It will install that only. But to unzip, I have to install a unzip command. I have to install unzip for that. So sudo install unzip. Okay, sudo apt install. I have to install from apt repository, right? Or you can do apt get install unzip. It will get the unzip and I have to just copy this and paste. So it will install AWS CLI uh, within your instance. Now, I have installed AWS CLI. I have installed Terraform. Now, can I get entry to my AWS console? No, because I have to authenticate with my AWS account. I have AWS with me, but I don't have the AWS account credentials with me. So how can I get entry? So there are two ways to get entry to the AWS console. So you can do, you can run this command. So already AWS 2.19.1 has installed, right? So if you do AWS S3 LS, you got a credential error. So unable to locate credentials. You can configure credentials by running AWS configure. So I can copy this and enter. So it will give, uh, it will ask me a access key ID, secret access key ID, default region name, and default output format, which will be JSON. So uh, AWS configure command is good, but for security purpose, it is vulnerable because if anyone get access to your uh, access to your Terraform server, he can get your access key ID, secret access key ID, it is your name. That means access key. If I, if I give access key and secret access key, it will save in your instance, right? So that will be a vulnerability moment. So we should not go with AWS configure. Instead, we can attach AWS 
रोल्स टू एज्यूम रोल्स और आई एम रोल्स विथ दिस टेराफॉर्म सार्वर राइट सो यू कैन एटच टेराफॉर्म आई एम रोल बाय गोइंग एक्शंस सिक्योरिटी एंड देन मॉडिफाई आई एम रोल देन यू कैन चूज आई एम रोल सो आई हैव ऑलरेडी created an i am role so it is an admin role so all the admin role can be um, all the all the admin roles are required to to install or created vpc but you can you can go with limited permissions actually uh, for demo purpose i have admin role but suggested way is to create um, some user policy and then attach with admin role i mean roles so you can create admin roles by uh, you can search iam roles so i have created one admin role create role for aws service you can create a role so what will be the use case use case for ec2 next and you can get administrator access role for you but i have um, i have taken administrator access but you should take or in production uh, we should take uh, another policies or not not go with administrator administrator access we have to go with uh, granular access so for that you can you can create policies you can create policies and by creating policies you can go that way so i will not discuss this in in this lecture so ec2 i will go to ec2 to instances so i have a terraform um, running on my server i mean on, on my instance now uh, let's let's jump into the instance and okay before that i have to attach the iam role so i i should attach the im role and update im role now if i do aws s3 ls that is not giving me any uh, error response right Be i can i not not having any re response because uh i don't have any s3 bucket so that's why i'm not getting any response but it is running fine okay so now let's create terraform provider aws okay so i will just copy this and create a aws i mean um, provider.tf file sudo nano provider.tf and just paste this and now i have to give the configurations options like region i have to give the region only that uh, if i give the region it will be fine so i will just copy this and face this and the region will be us west you i am on us east 2 so i will have to give us east 2 and if i do terraform init command it will initialize the terraform it will just take some moment okay done 
now let's take vs code and in vs code you should go with um, terraform extension so you can just install terraform this terraform instec this terraform extension you have to install it will help to create your terraform uh, file okay so let's start with creating vpc so if i if you go to the vpc search vpc and you can find vpc aws default vpc not default vpc aws vpc so by this you can see that the resources aws vpc main cidr block and i have to give the block id okay so let's create vpc resource first resource okay aws underscore vpc and and the vpc name vpc now inside the block i have to give cidr block cidr block 10.0.0.0 slash 16 will be my vpc cidr and now i i am i'm giving it that it is an optional but i i like to give tag okay tags will be uh, you can see that it is a key string type of uh, like json type of tag so i will give name that will be custom vpc sorry okay so vpc done now i will create private subnet and public subnet so first i will create public subnet resource aws underscore subnet and the name name will be public subnet ub lic sub net public subnet now in public subnet i have to give the vpc id so vpc id will be just copy this paste dot id and just do this and vpc id so it will be the vpc id now what will be the cidr block cidr block will be is equal to 10 dot 0 dot 1 uh, dot 0 slash 24 i will go with this and if any so i um what will be the availability zone for this public subnet so availability zone will be you can see that if i go with any any letter it will just suggest to me the availability zone or availability zone id so i will go with availability zone which is a string id so uh, i will just copy us east one a i will go with us east one a us east east one a okay uh, not one a two a i have to give two a right and i have to go with tags i like tags so the name will be um, public subnet that will be fine public subnet Public subnet will be fine. 
So I have to keep it in quote. Okay. Now, if any instance, um, if any default instance is created in this public subnet, I have to do one more. I have to do one more thing, which is map public IP on launch. It will just uh, and I have to give true command T R U E true command. So any instance created on this subnet automatically attaches with a public IP. Okay. So my public subnet is done. Now I will copy this and just create private subnet. Private subnet. CIDR block will be two. US is to B. I don't need this because in private subnet we don't need public IP, and the tag will be private. Private subnet. Now, time for route tables. So resource. AWS, uh, I think route table, ROU, route table, ROU, TE, ROU, TE, route table, yes. Okay, so uh, I will go with route table, route table and then i have to give route table name so the name will be aws a uh, route table will be fine right if uh, public route table and private route table i have to give one public route table and one private route table right so let's go with that public route table i think this will be fine in route table i have given public route table and one private route table or just give it public i don't want to give big names so um, first in a route table i have to this route table will be settled within a vpc right so i have to give vpc id so vpc id will be AWS VPC ID. Correct. And then um, I have to give on which route or on which path um, this route will be associated. Right. So I have to give routes. So before that, I have to give internet gateway also. Okay, so let's create internet gateway also. Let's find IGW. Internet gateway. Let's find Internet Gateway. Internet Gateway Terraform. Okay, so resource AWS Internet Gateway and
Okay, all is fine. Okay, all is fine. Recording is still going on. I'm just check checking the recordings. Okay. And what I what am I? Uh, I have to create a resource and it it will be aws internet gateway and the name will be igw correct in internet gateway uh, i have to give vpc id so vpc id i will just copy this vpc id that will be fine PC ID and now I have to give routes to the public subnets. So what will be the route? Route will be it is a set of object. So I have to give a set of objects to a public subnets. So um, the route will be A route will be um, first of all CIDR uh, from CIDR to IGW, right? So CIDR block. So you can refer to the VPC console. In VPC, there are route tables and in a route table here is the here is the route local it is already activate with creation of uh, route table but i have to give this destination and target so the target will be internet gateway and destination will be uh, 0, .0, 0.0.0 slash 0 which is on internet so CIDR block will be 0, .0, .0, .0, 0, 0.0.0.0 slash 0. So it is a destination and the target will be IGW. Okay. So um, the target is specified here is gateway ID. Okay. So the gateway ID will be AWS Internet Gateway ID. So I will just copy this paste dot ID. Okay. And now my favorite thing tags. So the tags will be name and the tag will be uh, public route table okay i have to make it on quotation double quote and route table now Internet gateway done, public route table done, private subnet done. Now, for public route table, I have to create subnet association. So you can see within this subnet, these subnets are associated. I mean, with this route table, these subnets are associated. So I have to give the subnet association. So it is shows AWS subnet association. Okay, sorry, sorry, route table association. Route table. Okay, sorry, uh, route table association. 
ओके एंड जस्ट कीप दिस राउट टेबल एंड आई हैव टू गिव एयर पब्लिक only public will be fine now the i have to give the route table id route table id and the route table id will be this route table id public route table id dot id and i have to just delete this and give a dot mm, and i have to give the subnet id also subnet id subnet id and the subnet id will be here where is the subnet public subnet id i have to um, copy this and paste the subnet id oh sorry 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 uh, dot id dot id and just done with subnet id now let's create the private route table public route table is done private route table i have to create just copy this paste this this will be private private vpc id and this will not be in there here i have to give the um net gateway id right so let's keep this as has and let's create the net gateway and then i will give the net gateway id here for net gateway i have to create the elastic ip because in net gateway elastic ip is required elastic ip is required so for that i have to create that is uh, elastic ip aws i think elastic ip i have to find that yes elastic IP data from AWS EIP. Okay, AWS underscore EIP. And I will give the name is EIP. I am just keep this as it is. I don't have to give anything inside that. Now I have to create. resource aws mm, net gateway right net gateway and let's give this name as net in net gateway now for net gateway uh i need the vpc id obviously not not the vpc id okay not vpc id just i have to check this i forgot this aws nat gateway what it need allocation id subnet id so i have to give the subnet id subnet id and here the net is uh, deployed or uh, the net should deploy on uh, public subnet because in the private subnet there is no internet connection so for net i have to give the public subnet id so public subnet there is a public subnet there is a public subnet dot id
public subnet id is done now um, now i have to give allocation id right allocation id so the allocation id will be uh, this id so eip elastic ip id will be there elastic eip id okay done so now i have to take this and just give here and dot id gateway id done now let's try the security group so let's resource aws security group and i will name this as a sg security group in security group uh, let's check the security group security group data form okay first will be the name name the security group will be named as um, allow all because i will allow all the traffic allow all then description description is optional but let's give that allow all traffic and then vpc id vpc id will be vpc id and the vpc id will be sorry not that vpc id will be i have copied that this one okay now let's give a tag tags will be okay the tag will be uh, name is equal to allow sg this will be fine i think now resource of uh, so i have to give the aws security group rule security group rule it will be the ingress ingress and all the type of this security group will be type will be uh, ingress i n g r e s s ingress from port 0 okay there is a error i think I think this this will go with two port will be zero protocol will be minus one why i got this error and then i have to give 
okay first i have to give security group id security group id will be this one dot id now all the error gone i have to give the cidr block cidr block will be uh, 0, .0, .0, 0, 0 slash 0 i think that will be fine i will copy this and paste and this will be egress for egress i am creating egress and all things are, will be the same now let's create the instance resource aws instance and the instance name will be public instance Now I will copy the AMI of the instance. AMI ID. So if I go launch, if I choose Ubuntu, I will get an AMI ID of that Ubuntu image. So I will just clear this. AMI in the quotation I have to give this now subnet ID will be US EST East 1A because it is deploy uh, it, it will deploy on public subnet after subnet ID Mm, I have to give instance type. Instance type. The instance type will be t2 dot micro. T2 dot micro. Now I have to give the key name. Key name will be Ohio dot two dot pm. Ohio two dot pm or simply if i go with ohio 2 that will go better okay so i think this will be fine okay so security group security group uh, not security group should i go go with vpc security group it is okay PC security group IDs. So the ID will be security group ID. Where is the security group ID? This one, the security group ID. And just copy and paste this here dot ID. Okay. Done with uh, public instance. Now give a tag. Tag will be tag will be uh, front end front end instance name is equal to front end instance mm, okay done i don't think any other thing is required and just copy this paste this all things will be same just this will be public uh, sorry private instance private instance and the tag name will be backend instance ami will be same and now for for this instance, I will install the 
uh, Apache 2 service, right? So for Apache 2, I have a script file to run the Apache 2. Just give me a moment. I will find that. Apache 2, where I kept that. Mm, not here. Yes, code. Okay, just give me a moment. I will find that. Apache 2, right? Install Apache 2. Okay. Just copy this, not copy this. I have to um, give this as a user data. So just go with these. And I have to give user data, right? So user data will be, sorry, sorry. User data will be the name. What is the name? And uh, the name will be. for uh, user data file and then I have to give the name because it is a file which is opened by uh, this Terraform apache2 dot sh and I think all has done but because there will be no internet uh, when these all are creating i have to give depends on command also so the depends on command will be uh, it will be depend on the route table association and the nat gateway because if the nat gateway installed then the then in the private subnet we will get the internet right so for that i have to give here the nat gateway id nat gateway id will be what is the nat 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 yes here nat gateway sorry nat and it will be depend upon uh, the route table association because we, if there will, will be no route table association then there will be no internet connection and uh, the this this file will not be executed because here you can see here the pseudo apache i mean pseudo apt install apache 2 right so um, before that there will be some uh, update updation of the server so for that we need internet so i have to give the nat gateway nat gateway and i have to give the uh, routable association i mean private routable association id so where is that private routable association is i didn't associate the, the private route table maybe that is the issue Just give me a moment, I have to correct this. 
public okay i have given the name wrong r o u t e r o u t e okay perfect r o u t e route table and i have to give the route table association also so let's get this public route table i mean private route table association id also so okay now i don't have to give the id command here i mean uh, id extension here because we don't need the id it set of reference so it will get these as it is now i just check this so i will go to there and ls so uh, sudo nano instance.tf just copy this save and exit and just create the this file uh, sudo nano uh, what is the name of that file i have given that file name what is the name i have given apache2.sh copy this i will copy this and paste here and i will copy these and paste here oh sorry uh, i think this is fine okay it will just update install it will just redirect the host name and system ctl apache start apache 2 okay so terraform uh, plan command i have to give plan command let's it will check the terraform file and i think all is okay data um, apply i'll do data from apply and to apply the uh, apply the existing policies i have to give yes and it will just create first it will create the vpc then elastic ip then vpc is completed creation then after that it will create the private subnet public subnet internet gateway security group and then internet gateway creation complete after zero seconds it just started creating and creation completed route table after that route table creating and then private subnet is started created uh, then public route table completed and then route table association then it started creating public instance you can see that there is no private instance started yet because i have given the uh, depends on command if i do not give the depends on command then it will start creating now on but if you can see the net gateway didn't create st still it is creating it is creating in creating stage so if the uh, private instance started created then the user data will uh, 
automatically uh, applied. So for for that in the in the user data you can see in user data there is a command that sudo apt update for this we have we we need internet so if there is no internet then no no work for this command and uh, install we cannot install apache 2 so so the, that will fail so because of that uh, i have given the depends on command i get an uh, error error on creating ec2 instance okay public instance aws public instance 82 and 92 82 public instance private instance Okay. Uh, US East one B does not exist. That should not happen. Okay, US East two A and two B. This will be US East two A and two B. Right. So I have to just uh, edit the EC2, I mean uh, instance.tf file. So sudo okay, sudo nano instance.tf sudo nano instance.tf And just edit that. To B and to A. Now, Terraform apply to apply command. Okay, let's get up from destroy. Just destroy the whole architecture and then I will recreate that. So all are destroying. So you can see that uh, Terraform is how easy to use Terraform. By one command, you have to give just some time to create this file and keep this file as it is. Now I have I have created the, these files earlier in earlier stage and I have taken these files. So it will it will just take some time to create this and after that you can just go ahead and run terraform apply command so it will just 
check all the things and if i give yes so it will just create uh, start creating the vpcs and eips uh, eip i mean uh, the eip means elastic ip then security group sub private subnet public subnet igw igw means internet gateway so it is the gateway id and security group already created now ingress uh, it started creating the ingress now started the uh, net gateway creation it will take some time to create the net gateway So it will just take some time to create uh, this file. So uh, also you can, if if you want to allocate some storage, that is also possible. So that is possible by giving uh, a thing is root block device. You can just give sorry control z root block device and defaultly an ec2 instance get 8 gb of memory internal memory but uh, you can give by a root block device the by root block device you can give the volume size as it is as you can give like 10 or you can give like 12 whatever you want so that can be a easy process so i have i get another us east 2a does not exist okay what US East 2A. US East. US East. All the subnets are created. Let me check that once again. VPC. So you can see the VPC is also already created. I think so. Yes, VPC is created on us east 2 and then subnets public subnet is also created us east 2a and us east 2b so maybe there is any another issue that i am facing let's take us east to b us east to a i think i am correct with my thing but there is an issue let's find that subnet id us east to be is not exist mm, that should not happen Okay. Maybe I'm facing some 
internal error issue just give me a moment us east to b and us east to a Hmm. Okay, so this is the same thing I have done. So let's take this. Okay. Uh, data from destroy auto. A P P R O V E. It will not ask me to give an yes or no. It will just create as it is or destroy as it is. Just destroying. Meanwhile, I will just take this. This is the same thing I have done here. But maybe for some reason I'm getting the error. US is to B, US is to A. I think I'm right, but maybe there is a mistake from my side. Uh, I don't think there is any mistake I have done. Ohio to Ohio to root block device. Let's check that. So it will just destroy all the things one by one, and now I will I will. Uh, remove the instance the tf and sudo and instance dot tf. Now I will just copy this and paste this and try to apply auto. Okay, it started creating. We have to give some time to this. I think this will work fine. NAT gateway is creating. Okay, maybe this will work fine, I think. So I don't know what was the mistake I have done here uh, in earlier. Maybe there is some mistake I have done. So I have to check that. But for now, let's give this. And meanwhile, I will just create a Git Hub repository and you will get uh, this Git in GitHub, in my GitHub. Let's create a GitHub. Mm. Terraform. Okay, the name is okay. Uh, Terraform VPC. 
it up on PPC will be fine. Public create repository. Let's check this works fine or not. Okay, this works fine. So I will just copy this and I will paste this here. Uh, so that is create option. Okay, add file, add new file terraform.tf. Okay, comic changes terraform.tf and I will give the provider.tf. So in provider.tf, I will give that also. Let me check. Um, cat provider.tf and I will give this I will paste this okay so you can take this and try to try to create these from your own on your own and let's check okay so all are running and you can see that if i checked on terraform you can see the private ip is address is different on cid range and the backend service on different cid range now let's go to the front end server and try to log in Need it. Okay. Yes, I can log in. And if I do curl backend server IP. We can get the response from backend server. Now I will install the Nginx sudo apt install nginx nginx hyphen y. After that, so you can get this from, uh, from the front end server if i take this front end server ip and paste here okay so this is working now i will just configure it to use as a reverse proxy now for the reverse proxy i have to go to cd uh, etc nginx and sites enabled okay so you can get the default folder here you can check the default folder i mean default file so you can check this but i will remove this sudo rm default and recreate the default file sudo nano default in default file i have to give this it will listen on port 80 the server name i have to give so let's give the server name here i have to give my server name so the server name will be 
the server name will be this this ip address and in the proxy pass i have to give the backend server ip address so http it will be an address and backend server ip okay if i save and exit cat default you can see that but now if i do and refresh you can still get the same response so for that i have to restart the nginx service so sudo systemctl restart nginx okay restart okay, so nginx restarted it will take i think some time i'm getting the response but not the response i am internal server error okay is there any issue okay oh i i have given which ip i have given the same ip no i have to give the backend server ip so i have to give the backend server ip here okay so i have to go in default page and i have to give the backend server ip address and restart the nginx service now i hope this will work fine you can see the ip address here so 10.0.2.83 so you can see the backend ip and server address also 10.0.2.83 by this you can do the reverse proxy so yes that's it i have done terraform server created terraform server created vpc from terraform server created subnet public subnet private subnet internet gateway uh, backend server front end server nat gateway and the association so is also done with terraform so by terraform you can do this kind of projects so thank you have a great day bye